Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to put some water in this bowl. I'm now going to use my teaspoon just to scoop out some of that flesh. I want to try and get as many of the seeds as I can. So I'm going to scoop that out. You can see the seeds there are still a few left on the inside, so I'm just going to scrape them out with my spoon. Creates a beautiful pink colour in the water. Just scrape that out there. We've still got a few left in there. Beautiful. All the seeds are out. So now what I need to do is to mush those up a bit. So I am going to use a fork initially, but I don't want to crush the seeds. So I've got to be quite careful. You can also just use your hands if you want to, um, but they are kind of a little bit slippery. So if you want to break it up, crush it up in your hands or fingers and you'll see that we'll just crush all these up so i'm just going to use my fingers now and now what we've got to do is the hard part which is separating all the seeds out from the pulp because the pulp is no good to us um, get those seeds off my fingers and what you can see as well is that there are some seeds here floating on the surface those seeds are actually useless they're hollow which is why they're floating so they're not going to be any good so I will actually drain those off so what I'll do is take it over to the garden and what I'm going to do is just to swirl the water off so that the seeds that are floating are dispersed uh, or gotten rid of. Okay, so we can see that the seeds that were floating are gone. I'll put some more water in now. Look at that. Look how many seeds are in there, huge. Now, the other part of why I have the fork here is because I'm going to separate out these pieces which don't have seeds attached and there's a runaway seed stuck to my finger so we get rid of those we chuck those out because they're no good so we gradually there's a seed in there so i might try and separate that seed if i can get rid of the pulp and this is a bit of a process now is just to get rid of all the pulp that has no seeds uh, and remove it so we do this like a it's like a rinse and repeat um, of getting as much of this pink fruit or pulpy fruit out which doesn't have any seeds and just remove it so here's just how I swirl what I'll do is spin this around And we'll see the seeds will all go into the center at the bottom. And you can see the pink parts are all on the outside. So I can tell I'm going to have uh, well over a thousand. It's got a few floaters there. And you can see those pink, pink parts are just going to go over the edge with my help. Because they're basically no good. They're not very tasty either as it happens. So I'll spin it again, around we go, and we've got a few floaters there, but floaters can go over the edge, it's really the pink parts that I want. Okay, so time for more water now, and uh, mush, rinse, and repeat. Alright, so again, 
stir and separate. So we'll just stir it around and then I'll float off the pink pulp or use the fork to extract it so we can see here, there we go. I can use that to scoop off some of this pink pulp. Again, I don't care if I get the occasional seed. Oh, it's got a few. All right, there we are. And the seeds that are viable, they will stay at the bottom. So if seeds start floating, they're dead. They are dead seeds. They're good to no one. So you may as well get rid of them. There we go. So we nearly got this down to where I want, which is when we can then start separating off these seeds onto a paper medium and, uh, and dry them out. And then once they're dried out, I'll end up putting them in uh, some test tubes. So, there we go. Now I've got a heap of um, pink flesh all over my table here, but we'll swirl that around. And I think I'll just tip that out at this stage. Okay, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty, aren't we? We've now got really just a few bits of pink flesh in there, which we can extract. We've still got a few floating seeds, so sometimes as they're released from the pulp, you'll find that some of the ones getting released are actually dead or hollow or useless, so they float. So we want to get rid of those because they're never going to produce any plant material and that is actually a seed that has started and turned into a mini epicactus but because that was inside the seed pod and that's what happens sometimes seeds do germinate and start little plants inside the seed pods so we'll just get rid of that all right i think we're good to go so now we'll move to the next stage, which is uh, putting all of that on paper.